Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Shannon. It is Sunday when I am filming this. I'm not sure if I'll get this up today or sometime this week anyway when I get to editing it. But yesterday I actually did a bit of a drugstore haul. I'm wearing some of the products today. So I wanted to come on and just share with you what I got. And I always like to kind of check up some affordable makeup when I get a chance. I think it's so fun to find really affordable, great products at the drugstore instead of paying, you know, like $50 for one product from Sephora. Of course, I do love me some Sephora, as you guys know, but I love to find awesome things at the drugstore. It really, really excites me. So if you guys want to see what I picked up at the drugstore, then just keep watching. All right, guys, so I have a little bag here. So this is from Lawton's Drugs. And then I also got some stuff from Shoppers as well that I just threw in and from Walmart. So I threw everything into this bag. So let's start out, what are we going to start out with? Let's start out with a foundation. So a foundation that I was really looking for that I haven't been able to find here in Canada is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition, high definition Long Wear Eliminating Foundation. So basically I would just say LA Girl Eliminating Foundation. But this is what it looks like. If you're in the States, you've seen this a thousand times. It's not new, but it was kind of hard to get here in Canada. So I'm excited that Lawton's is now carrying the line. I will say I got the shade Fair and I'm wearing it today. I love how this looks on my skin. I have normal to dry skin, so I knew I would like the finish of it. But it has great coverage and it just looks so glowy and beautiful on the skin. I will say though I have the shade Fair on and it's actually too dark for me. You can get a white shade in this. I didn't see it or I would have picked it up, but I would recommend if you are a light, like fairer than me, then get a white mixer. I actually need one. So that's one downside. Hopefully they come out with a bigger shade range. But so far I really, really like this. And I think this was like $10 like it wasn't very much for this so if you get a chance to check this out I would definitely pick that up so another product that I got was one I've seen various recommendations here on YouTube for it so it's the wet and wild color icon reserve your cabana bronzer with SPF 15 so this is what it looks like this is definitely not a bronzer I don't know what they were thinking when they said bronzer but I've seen so many people say they love this as like an all-over like illuminating powder so I thought I would get this because I actually just recently purchased the Laura Mercier Candle Light Sheer Glow Perfecting Powder and I was like this looks very similar in color to the Fair version and it has a beautiful sheen to it. Like I have put this all over my face today and I think it's really beautiful. Definitely not a bronzer but it's an all over illuminating powder and kind of like a dupe maybe for some of the higher end ones like the Hourglass or Laura Mercier. This is beautiful, it gives a similar finish. So I would highly recommend this. And like I said, this is under 10 bucks. I think it was like around five or six bucks. So definitely check that out. Another Wet n Wild product that I picked up was the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer, the dewy finish one. So this one is apparently new. So I wore this under my foundation today. Of course, if you are more oily skin, you probably wouldn't like this. I would go, they have a matte version of this, so you could try that out. So it comes with 25 mils or 84 fluid ounces. It is cruelty free, of course, as most, I think all Wet n Wild is. So I'll put it a little bit just on my hand so it's just kind of like a nude shade feels very moisturizing it does provide a little bit of illumination to your skin but nothing crazy but so far I think it's really nice I like dewy primers so for me I think this will be a win and it was really inexpensive as well of course because it is wet and wild I also picked this up at Lawton's and yeah so far I'm liking this as well to pick up a couple L'Oreal products. Um, one that I picked up was this Voluminous Superstar X Fiber Mascara. So it has like two sides or step one and then step two. And I got the shade Blackest Black. So I believe this has fibers in it and one side is more for like lengthening, one side more for thickening. I'm not really sure <laughs> on that. I thought one side had fibers but I couldn't really tell the difference. They just have like different wands. So I'll do this one. So I'm wearing this today. So I'll take the glue off there. So it has a nice wand. I really like the wand on that one, on this side in particular. And then this one has more of like a curved curly, like a curl wand, I guess you would call it. Um, but yeah, I actually seen Tati Rava like use this on her channel and say she really liked it. So I figured I would pick it up. Um, it is, I think, over $10, but 
It's fairly new and I wanted to try it out, so I went ahead and grabbed it. So far, I actually really like this. Um, I do have it on my lashes today. I'll see if I can zoom you guys in a little bit. So I have that on my lashes today. And I don't know if you can see like really up close, but hopefully you can. And I'm gonna zoom you back out. So yeah, that's what I have on today. I like it so far. I have to keep wearing it, of course, but I just wanna see if it kind of crumbles under my eyes because some mascaras do that. But so far, so good. It look, works really well on my bottom lashes, the side one I used on my bottom lashes, and I really enjoyed that. So yeah, so far, I think this is pretty good, and it's a good find. And I will say I usually like L'Oreal mascara, so I'm not super surprised on that. So another L'Oreal product that I actually went to find is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow Amore Glow Boosting Drops. I got the shade 507 Daybreak. So these just came out. I actually looked at getting them online and I couldn't find this shade in stock or like it was too much money. So I was like, I'm just going to go and see if they have it in store and they did. So I'm really excited about that. I actually swatched it. So it just comes in a little dropper. This of course is a liquid highlight. It reminded me of the Cover FX ones. And I'll just put like a little bit there. Now this was 20 bucks, so this was not a super cheap product. We'll just kind of rub that in, but isn't that beautiful? Like obviously when you have that fully rubbed in, it's not gonna be as glowy, but it still provides a really pretty like pinky glow. So I personally really appreciate that. And I know it's, it's a little high for the drugstore, honestly. I wish it would be like, the 10 to $15 range at least, but you know, drugstore prices unfortunately are creeping up a little bit, so there's not a lot, I guess, that we can do about that, but yeah, that was one of the things I was looking for and actually picked up. And then this product, I actually purchased a couple things from Essence and I got this at Shoppers. So this is the Pure Nude Highlighter. I'm sure you've heard about this. I have it on today and it's just, it is such a beautiful, natural, like, but very glowy highlight. And you wouldn't think about it when you see it in pan, but I am telling you guys, like, this is so, it's so beautiful. It's just absolutely stunning. And I don't know if you can see it there, but it is just beautiful. And you could pair this with that liquid highlight and put it over top. Like, it's soft. It, it looks amazing. It doesn't emphasize texture. I already know that this is going to be a favorite of mine. I think it is absolutely stunning. And I think it was like $5 around that range. So that is a really, really, really good deal. And I think this is the only shade they have. This is Be My Highlight, number 10. I think this is the only one they sell. I think they should make more shades in this formula because it is absolutely beautiful. Like, you guys have no idea how beautiful this is. As good as some of my higher end highlighters. Beautiful. So more products that I actually picked up from Essence that I am stoked about are these Metal Shock Eyeshadows. These are kind of similar. So I got like a green shade, I got a purple shade like a pink shade and a gold shade. So I picked these up, they were all I think $5.49 or something each, like they're pretty inexpensive. Um, these are similar, like I got these because they reminded me of the Stila Shimmer and Glows, and also, or the Glitter and Glows, whichever. These are metallic and do have shimmer in them, but I find the one I'm wearing more metallic-y. I have one on my lid today. And it's just, it's these are beautiful. They actually apply really nicely. Um, they're probably not as opaque as the Stila ones, but I do find you can layer them. And when you get them in the crease, you have time to blend it into your crease so it doesn't just kind of stick there. I have the ColourPop ones, and that was my one thing with the ColourPop ones I didn't like, is that I found them hard to blend into the crease. They would kind of start to crumble if you pulled at them too much. I do like those ones, but I think these ones are a little bit better, honestly, in my opinion, and they're less, they're around the same price. And for us in Canada, they're cheaper because we don't have to get them shipped. We can go in the store and buy them. So I appreciate that. I'm really glad they came out with these. I'll swatch a couple colors for you. So I have these shade, what is this one? Supernova. I think that's one of the ColourPop shadow shades. <laughs> this is kind of like a green shade like a foresty green shade. So there's that one. Really pretty. I picked up most colors that I've seen because I figured why not. And then I have a shade called Total Eclipse. And this one is more of a purpley shade. So I'll put that one beside it here. And this one has like flecks of like silver 
glitter. I don't know why I made that bigger, but you can kind of like see that there. Really pretty. And then I have this gold shade that is called Solar Explosion. This one's number one. This one looks so gorgeous. I think I want to wear this one tomorrow. Like, look at that gold. That is beautiful, guys. Like, beautiful. By the way, I'm not using a viewfinder today, so hopefully this is in focus. And the shade I have on my lid is One Second to Mars. It's beautiful. It's like a corally pink shade that has um, a shift of gold in it. So that's it right there. So that's all the shades. And these dry down pretty nicely, like not too quick, but they dry down nicely and they don't transfer so far to like the crease or anything. So I really like these. I think these are a beautiful find at the drugstore and I'm so stoked that I was able to pick these up. So the next product that I picked up was actually from Pixie, which I've never bought any of their products. I did see recently some people get packages with the matte last liquid lips and the shades, I think there's only five shades. They're all in like the nude, like pinky, um, nude kind of family, which I like. So I kind of wanted to check them out and see if they had them in store. I did find them. So this is the little packaging. I love the packaging that it comes in. I have this on my lips today. The shade that I got is pastel petal. So this is what it looks like. It is just, oh, it is so gorgeous, guys. I love, this is a very flimsy, and it's kind of a cool applicator. Like, it's curved, and it has a hole. It picks up quite a bit of product. It's really, it's kind of flimsy, but it actually works really well to get lipstick on. So that's the shade right there. Beautiful shade. I love this. I actually, Pixie, honestly, I know you'll never probably watch this video, but I would love to get every single one of these. Just like, and just a hint throwing that out there. Like, these are freaking fabulous. I have these on, like I said, I have this on. I wore this yesterday for a little bit too. Lasts a long time. It feels so comfortable on the lips. It's not transfer proof, but it's pretty close to transfer proof. And it doesn't dry your lips out. It just feels nice on the lips. I'm really sad I didn't find these before, but these are amazing. Now, of course, Pixie is on the higher side of the drugstore. Um, I don't know the exact amount I paid on this, but I think it was obviously over $10 because they are on the higher side in the drugstore. They're kind of in the middle. They're still affordable. I know in the States you can find them at Target. I found this at Shoppers, so if you're in Canada, you can go ahead and go to the beauty boutique at Shoppers and find these, but really really nice and beautiful neutral shades i'm sure they will come out with more because they are really really nice so the next product i got was from hard candy and this is the sheer envy hydrating primer mist 12 hour electrolytes energize and hydrate your skin it's oil free silicone free and alcohol free this does have coconut water in it so if you do not like the smell of coconut i wouldn't get this I was drawn to this because it did have the smell of coconut. And I thought it'd be nice to spray on my face. I actually use the Smashbox Primer Water a lot before makeup, and I thought I would try this out. I'm wearing it today. I actually want to try this over makeup, too. It has a pretty nice mister, which I'm impressed with, because sometimes misters on these drugstore ones are really crappy, but this one is actually really good. Um, so it's supposed to be a lightweight primer that hydrates the skin, revitalizes radiance. It's packed with benefits for priming, hydrating, and refreshing your face. Um, it has coconut water electrolytes that boost lasting hydration for up to 12 hours, leaves your skin smooth, soft, and supple. So it sounds good. Um, I did really like the smell of this and it felt really hydrating on my skin. So I'll have to use this more obviously, but I do like it so far. I love coconuts, so that's why I was drawn into this. They do have like a la long lasting setting spray. They also have a matte setting spray. And I think they also had an illuminating one, but I really wanted to try this one. All right, so we're getting down to the last few things. So I did get some new Ardell Accent Lashes. I just, I think 301s. So they just look like this. They're basically like half lashes just to go on the outer edge of my lashes, which honestly, that's all I really need. And one problem I always have with lashes is that they're way too long. I have to cut a lot off them and it just drives me crazy. And everyone always says I have big eyes, but I feel like lashes never fit my eyes. And I know they don't usually fit anyone's eyes, but like I have to cut a lot off my lashes. So I was like, I'm going to get these accent ones and then I'll cover like half. Like I have pretty decent sized lashes right here. So I just need them on the end. So I want to try these and see what I think. But I mean, they're only like four bucks. So why not try them out? And I think they'll be really pretty, like really natural, but pretty. Okay, 
So the next thing I got is the Marcel New Age Lumi Power 3-in-1 Cloths. So these are supposed to cleanse and remove makeup, tone, and illuminate. And this is recognized skin by the Canada Canadian Dermatology Association, alcohol-free, fragrance-free, hypoallergenic, so it's going to be good for all skin types. Um, so that's what it looks like. It was new. They did actually have this at Shoppers, and they had a little $3 off coupon. So I went ahead and grabbed these. I think they were around $10. I've tried Marcel makeup wipes before, and I love them. Like, I think they do such a good job. I actually have just, like, cheap, what is it, pawns or something right now, and I do not like them really, but I've been using them to get rid of them. But these are so much better. These are beautiful. And my skin actually looked really nice this morning when I woke up, so... I used these last night, so hopefully it keeps up because so far these are really nice. And like I said, there is a $3 off coupon if you go to um, Shoppers Beauty Boutique. I'm not sure if it's at all of them, but I picked this up on the west side if you're local to me in St. John. Um, but yeah, if not, if you're in Canada, I think you can pick Marcel up in any um, Shoppers location. Um, I'm not sure of the other locations, but I know that you can get them there. As far as in the States, I'm not sure if you can pick up Marcel. Um, you can, of course, check their website. I'll try to link that down below and see if you can ship if you are from the States. But these are really, really nice makeup wipe. And they're obviously, they tone and illuminate as well. So I think that's a plus. Um, but yeah, I liked their prior ones. And these ones are definitely beautiful as well. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for this drugstore haul. I hope you enjoyed. Of course, if you guys want to see a full face of drugstore products, let me know down in the comments. If you get a chance, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And, of course, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Um, one tip I will give you if you're shopping at the drugstore, keep an eye out if you see coupons besides products. A lot of times it's a little bit of money off and you can actually apply it to your purchase then. So you can bring it up with you, kind of take it off and bring it up with you to the cash. And, yeah, I hadn't been doing that, but I have been recently. And it saves you a little bit of cash, which we all want to do. Um, also... Oh, of course, like check your flyers, check what's on sale. If there's buy one, get one half off, those kind of deals. You see those often at the drugstore, then check those out. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, like I said, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.